Jeez. And that Sasquatch looking leg was Zadix. Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh lord. You anyway, were, you guys were wild before esports were a thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. You should see my pinned I'm, tweet. I'm like a little jealous. Oh my god. Some of the things Fishflop did cuz like pre shaped, like Fishflop like, shaped me into who I am today. <laughs> in, in both good and bad ways. It's like pre, I don't know. Pre esports seemed yeah, like Phoenix a wild Saga time. 5 dude. was like the like the pinnacle of my Smash career ever for oh, anything. Oh yeah. Stream player <laughs> what have you. Yeah. Or All you right. turned me into an alcoholic. Hey. Oh, God. Anyway, enough about pass. Let's talk about this winner's final set that's coming up. Rayquaza versus NLG Ryuga. So we've actually seen this here in the past actually quite a few times. Yeah. And it I has mean, been. I think it happened uh, two weeks ago again. Like yeah, because we didn't have one ago. last week. So, yeah, it was two weeks ago. Yeah. And then the week before, Zenodo came in. But I saw I saw Ray practicing the Bowser <laughs> against Corey, and I saw him practicing yep. all his conversions. Yeah, he was definitely keeping that up. Now... Mm -hmm. Corrin, or Ryuga's Corrin is effectively kind of like removed the Rayquaza Rosalina from the equation now. Because uh, he wins the matchup, or according to him, he wins the matchup almost every single time. Yeah, and Bowser does a lot better of it, like has a lot better of a time, I guess, handling Corrin because when Corrin is like trying to approach, Bowser just does a pivot grab, gets the grab, and easy uh, grab conversion. Exactly. Or, you know, if... um. What's it? If Ryuga is just kind of outspacing him, uh, Rayquaza will usually opt just go for jabs and just try and space him out and just keep boxing him into the corner. But that's also what Ryuga loves to do because the second you get Bowser at the ledge, you don't let him up. Yep. Because like, look at that. He just keeps throwing him back off. Exactly. That's I was gonna uh, highlight that. How that is gonna be kind of like the uh, kind of like big swing here in this set is that how well can Ryuga keep Rayquaza pinned at the ledge? Mm -hmm. The moment Ray thinks he's gonna see like an opening, he's gonna run and get the try to get the dash grab just to levy the pressure off of himself and get and put a well, that's Ryuga it, on his. That was uh, such back a foot. smart read. But that is like the third or like third time that Ray has now just did a standard get up at the ledge, mm -hmm. and Ryuga's Ryu punished every single time. So we're gonna have to see how Ray adapts to getting off the ledge, and we gotta see how Cody can just uh, maintain this lead. Definitely. I also don't think that Ray expected him to punish him that hard because he hadn't been all game. Like I don't think I've ever seen that mix up used before. Yeah. All right, nice. Uh, that was a really nice tomahawk into grab just to throw him off with a quick uh, forward throw, and almost, Ooh. almost there uh, with a lap. 85% only on Ryuga, but 47. But so he, he's in up. Oh, he yeah, might he, not he, be he, anymore. He was in up throw confirmed for that. Yeah, I mean, even though he, uh, I don't he know, still he might be. be. He still could be with uh, an air dodge read. Well, he just tried to go for a raw. Or with his there. like, you know, fast flyer properties. We might. Yeah. But he's definitely not now. Oh, that was a really risky insta pin. Just gonna retreat up to the platform. Not even gonna try and deal with uh, Rayquaza in his grab. He's going for a lot of risky insta pins, but they're also paying. Yeah. Yo. There it is. That's not gonna hit though. Oh, well, air dodge. Like, he was. He was. Ooh, okay. I like that use of. I, I, yeah, that was smart. I just, I just don't think I've ever seen up throw air dodge very often. I'm pretty sure it was just a miss input. I think, yeah, definitely. I think he was air dodging because he thought Cody might have uh, tried might to counteract for, with an air, or he might go for like dare or something yeah. like that. All right, we're just getting an up throw up tilt into an easy three, easy peasy, 15% nice fair to try Ooh, and that get him back off stage. Was meaty. All right, did so much damage. Now Ray is slowly bringing this back just with a couple of strong hits. Yeah. Because something about Ray's Bowser is once he puts you in disadvantage, he will find ways to just get small hits in, but they end up doing a ton of damage. Yeah. Like, his Bowser's a little bit unorthodox. Oh, I mean, you can say that about Ray, or like every character of Ray. He plays, he plays, it doesn't seem like, it's unorthodox, but it's almost optimal. Mm -hmm. He has deep pockets. Like, let's yes, just say does. that. All right. Ooh, oh, oh, that was such a risky position that Ryugo put himself in, because he almost had to re-grab. Yep, and you can see that tag coming into play here. Run! Run. I was gonna, he, he I was knows, gonna point that out too. He knows that like he has to play it safe because he's he knows what it's like to have like be in the advantage here yeah. against Ray and then have it lo like lost in a second because of one grab. Two and a half minutes left on the clock. Timeout. That, not really like a real option here. I don't think but so it definitely either. Is something to kind of keep in the back of the mind for these players because Ryuga might have that in the back of his mind because like if you know if he messes up once and he and oh my god that grab that's yep it. like I said dude if, if he mess <laughs> commentator's curse but if he really messes up once he dies yeah that is the and it, it's like that for a good like 10 15 percent or so yeah and he like right there Ryuga is kind of like right in the range where it was like if 
he managed to get out of that percent like area, he was gonna live an up throw or an up throw into up air. But Ray got the perfect pivot grab, sealed the deal, takes game one, and this is only a best of three. Yeah, is NHS is all best of three actually. Yep. Unless it's but, uh, because I know last time in the set we saw him bring out the Ike, which did not fare as well no. as his corner did. I'm surprised he like I know Ryuga has a Bayo, and I'm surprised he doesn't try Bayo in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Like it is like Bayo does real well versus big bodies, and Cody is smart enough to kind of like be able to dance around Bowser. Yeah. But you know he's got he's got to learn this matchup. Ooh, he's uh, going or cloud he goes instead. Cloud. This is also not a bad pick against Bowser, no. and especially. Big bodies have uh, a big, uh, big difficulty landing. See, but the thing is, though, is that if he wins, Ray's probably going to go uh, Rosa because Rosa, he knows this matchup really, really well. Like, he is, he's very confident against Cloud, yep. is what he's told me. I mean, he is, but you know, got to remember. Well, we caught his jump. You got to remember Reaper's game, though. Lost to Maloney in a 2-1 uh, yeah. set, so maybe the Clouds in Michigan are starting to adapt, but Who knows? Ryuga's Cloud is something of its own. So we'll I have see. yet to see this actually, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I haven't seen it. This I haven't seen this cloud since like the original cloud nerf, and then Cody is just like, you know what? I'm just gonna perfect corn. He's, re he's reading a lot of Rayquaza's grab attempts, just punishing him with short up back airs. Yeah, I mean he's that's what he's doing. He's playing a very tweak oriented, I guess. Just play very spacing oriented. Oh what a risky down air, but. You so know, like, look at this deficit that Ray's at. Let's see you know, he could have just finished touched it <laughs> and he killed him. Yeah, you're right. I mean, like, not a whole like he's got no percent on him, so like he there he doesn't have like he doesn't have Rage helping him. Mm -hmm. But finishing touch did get nerfed from the ground. So. Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. I'm surprised that went unpunished. He has barely misplaced the uh, landing bear. All right, and Ryuga is doing what we kind of were commenting about in the first game is that. What you have to, like, one of the best ways to beating Rayquaza is finding a way to trap him at the ledge. Because mm -hmm. Rayquaza is very good at getting out of disadvantage, but if you can kind of, like, pin him where he needs to be, you keep him in check. Yeah, exactly. It's like Ryuga's just been doing a good job of that all game, because that's the, that's the kind of character that Cloud is. He's a very oppressive character. Yeah. Because I mean, once Cloud starts oppressing you, it's even t I think that it's tougher to get back against Cloud than it is to get, you know, Corrin, for example. Yeah, for so, sure. And with how... Oh, oh, that shield was looking it, pretty low, but he's just going to get a grab into the air. That looked a little bit desperate. Yeah, he, he just needed to get percent. Because at this point, he's all about playing catch-up, and he's just trying to get uh, Ryuga oh my into God, this dude. percent range. 75, dude. He's already back. I mean, this is, this is the range he, This he is needs. death range. This is death. Yeah. So... Basically, here's kind of where the oh, oh, oh I thought that was a yeah, that was I mean really that was risky. wise. He, you have to mash at the end to try to get that last little up. You might Oof. be dead here, dude. Yeah. Yep. Wow. That's that's what Rayquaza was looking for. He's getting these grabs just to get tack percent. He's not. Oh, he looking just fell off the platform, Barry. We got the game. Like I was trying to talk about like how scientific this approach See, was from like, Ray, that, but he just nah. That, that was another thing I was gonna bring up too, like. Ray is just kind of messing with him like psychologically almost right now. Because yeah. he's at the point where he knows he's going to die if he gives Ryuga one free hit. So he's he's just playing defensive. Like, he's not really looking for anything. He's just making Ryuga go for desperate options and then putting him in disadvantage for it. Yeah. I really like this approach that Ryuga's doing. He's now just like, he's, he, he's keeping Ray pin at the ledge. And he's just going for grabs. Mm -hmm. Clean and simple. Clean yeah, and simple. Easy, like, it, easy percent. Not a whole lot. You don't get follow-ups, but he's off stage, and you've gained 100% of the stage control. Advantage, you're in total advantage state. I also like how Ryuga is reading uh, Rayquaza's drop downs from the platform and just frame trapping him with up air almost consistently. Yeah. But when when Bowser, actually, what we saw there though, is when Bowser lands with side B, it actually auto cancels itself. So he's yep. free to move right after he lands. Yeah, but it's pretty high risk. Like, sure, you gain that uh, the la their zero landing leg, but if somebody knows that like you're, they're outside of the range of the the, the Bowser, the Koopa Claw, they'll just punish you accordingly. Oh, without a doubt. Oh my gosh, the oh my double God, the stool into fair. Let's go. <laughs> Very. Oh, oh, he doesn't have a jump. Oh, what? Interesting choice. I mean, I, easy percent. Oh. I, um, oh my, I was actually nervous. About I was nervous. Yeah, so was I. I thought that was going to push him off. I think that he should have just gone for cross or uh, cross cross slash because that would have sealed the deal. I think he might have actually. Been he might have missed. Oh, missing. <gasps> Is that Yo, it? this might be it. Oh. No, no, that's not just it. Barely. So now this is going to be tough for Rayquaza, I think, because he's probably out of the uh, up Yeah, he range. might be out. Yeah, and now that up air is stale. Yep. The up air is stale. Oh, oh, that's it, dude. Okay. I, 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 
Ray was upset about that, but it's like, dude, you went for an all or nothing, and then he's just like, he punished accordingly. Like, you can't be mad. You went for an all or nothing with Lemmy. Like, you can't be mad at that. No, no. And Ryuga's in this, but here becomes the but counterpick he, wars. Here's, here's what's going to happen. Either Ryuga is going to switch back to Corrin and try and take the next game, or Ray is probably going to switch to Rosa. Yeah. We'll have to see. Oh, this is scary, dude. Yeah, I would love to know like what the ban and counterpick here was. Will Ryuga be able to take down the sadistic med student taking people's money? Hey, man, he's, he's a, he, he needs the he's money, winning, but... He's winning NHS weeklies to pay for grad school, man. But I mean... I think Ryuga's being one of those guys that yep. he's, oh, you, you see that too? No. No. Wait, I thought you just said yeah. Oh no, I was gonna say yup because the oh. counter pick. <laughs> yeah. Ryuga's one of those guys that's on stream and then talks in chat. He's doing it right now. <laughs> like this chat? Yeah, he's talking in chat oh, that's as he's right as there. That, Falling a surge. That's funny as fudge. That's actually really funny. <laughs> All right, game three. We're seeing the Cloud versus Rosa. I told you he's going to counter pick because he just knows this matchup pretty well. I mean, but in Ryuga's stance, like, sure, like, it, this is better than the uh, risking Corrin versus Bowser again because of <laughs> how game one went. But he now has, like, the slight potential match. Like, he has the slight yeah. on paper matchup advantage here. Yes. So this is. And he also spars against Rayquaza a pretty good amount. You know, yeah. They're doubles partners, so they probably practice together. Exactly. And I mean, you know this is probably a matchup that Ryuga is very well uh, studied in. Mm -hmm. And sure. Like, uh, and Ray, we know Ray, he dislikes. He did Ray, conversion. Ray dislikes Cloud, so it, like automatically, like, the tilt factor is there. Oh, nice. two down frame tilt. with the down tilt. Because uh, Rosa is actually really easy in two frame because her head pops up. It's almost easy, like, consistently get. That was smart by Ray for drifting back to the ledge. Yeah, there. Very wise, too. Just get out uh -oh. of there. Don't even see try to contest. Yep. But oh, Ray Quaza doing what he does best, and that is juggling the hell out yep. of his opponent. He goes for the, uh, you know, like the pretty much the bread and butter Rosa Rosa up air combo. You go for up air, read the air dodge, and then go for another up air. Well, let's see. Oh, man, so that, he's chipping away at that shield really so, hard. So actually, a thing about Limit and Cloud, you know how it adds uh, weight and hit stun to him? Yeah. It can actually make Rosa's uh, kill confirm go even or uh, extend even longer. Yeah, because of the his, his fastball properties are raised exactly. a lot. Exactly. Because yeah. like her kill confirm is uh, up throw a weak up air up air. Yeah. So that's you know Cloud's definitely like out of the range for it whether he's in Limit or not. But this is still a scary spot to be Rosalina again against. Oh, that's gonna kill. Well, that's gonna take first stock, dude. Ooh, Ray, Ray, Ray with the Ray angry pop off. Yeah, no, he, he punched the table. A little Not bit. happy. I mean, he didn't punch. He definitely hit the table a little bit. So definitely visibly upset. Ooh. See, it's like, it, it, like I was saying though, it's hard to be Rosa in this position because it can. I can eat yeah. my words, but it can <laughs> it can be really hard to get a, uh, a stock off a cloud unless you get like a hard read or like a stray hit. Yep, and he read that jump option with an up air, sealed the deal, brought this back down to the stock of champions. Game three, mo uh, this is game three, so win the winner of this definitely has the uh, true advantage oh. going into grand finals here tonight. That was a smart air dodge by Ryuga, getting, th or, uh, getting through the up air and then up airing him himself. Oh, all right. oh let's see, can he kill Luma? Oh, that was, Ooh. I think he wanted to dash attack Luma. Yeah, I I saw him jump, though. I think he might have went for, like, Nair? Question mark? Wow. Yo. That was, like, that was well executed down. I didn't think it was going to work. He's going to keep two-framing him with it because he knows it's going to work. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. When's he going to take it? Oh, I, no I just want him to go I just want him to go run off and cross-slash. <gasps> that could have been cross-slash, dude. I mean, the... He auto canceled the bear, so the forward tilt was actually uh, a smart play. It's very, it's a very Ooh, fresh move. Using that limit to kill Luma, I don't know if I agree, but it's another 13 seconds. Oh, that's it. <gasps> what? This is a really close match. Uh. You gotta think what Rayquaza is just like. All right, I need to just get like the moment Ray gets on this ledge, the, he's in a safe haven. Ray, but see, it's like th this is where Rosa just struggles. This, yeah, this is where the matchup, where this is where the matchup says that. Rosalina oh my God, loses. she might. This is so scary. But oh, it's like Rosalina can really get oppressed by Cloud when she's off stage and Luma just keeps spawning at bad times. Like that's that's a big <gasps> thing. Can't Dude, get up I'm aired. freaking out. No, this like this is honestly next hit next. Oh my oh. god! Oh this back throw, can back I just throw get him off stage? stage. Oh, oh, oh no, he has to waste the limit. But one hit from Cloud. Yeah, oh, that could that could have been an up is smash, that Luma gone? 
Oh, Luma just barely surviving. Oh, that's it. Oh, dang. Oh, Rosa. So oh, dude. Dang. All right. Well, that I was a pop off, dude. I'm not. All right. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like most top Rosalina's pop off the exact same way. Really? Yeah. They just, <laughs> they just look to that like look to, to the, the heavens. sky, man. Oh, that oh, was. Oh my god.